Welcome to the digital storyboard titled Ensuring Biodiversity of an Ivory Coast Has a Future. My name is Disha Pierce. I am a conservation planner of this film. The location of this conservation plan is Ivory Coast, which is a West African country with an, an area of approximately 320 kilometers squared. It is bordered by Gulf of Guinea, to the north by Mali and Burkina Faso, to the east by Ghana, and to the west by Liberia and Guinea. This country has a humid climate which is conducive for high biodiversity of species, thus it has a relatively abundant vegetation and is well known as a country with the highest level of biodiversity in West Africa. The ecosystem of this country is West Sudanian and provides an array of habitats such as forests, savanna, grassland and shrublands. These are the biodiversities at the risk due to threats such as climate changes and increasing population density. In 1989, the population was about 6 million 700,000. This increased to 15 million 300,000 in 1998 and increased again in 2002 to 17 million individuals. Thus, it can be inferred that the population doubled in 23 years. As shown in the map, the population is concentrated in the capital city, Abidjan. As an increase in population leads to increase in development and agriculture due to sustain the population, and this results in a deduction of forests and habitats of fauna and flora. Thus the map shows the landscape has formed in yellow which nearly exceeds the natural areas. The country is known as an agricultural country and well developed in the sub-Saharan Africa, with its main exports being cocoa, coffee, palm oil and gold. This country depends on its export revenues for their economic growth. Nature usually falls on the shorter end of the stick due to habitat loss and fragmentation, degradation of habitats due to logging, and decrease of forests for agricultural and developmental practices. Even war, such as the Civil War in 1999, destructs habitats and forests. This war reduced the forests of the country from 71,000 km2 to a mere 6,000 km2. Ivory Coast is one of the countries in the world that strives to balance our de development and protection of biodiversity by undertaking an array of conventions and treaties to promote sustainable development. In short, they the remain the country with the highest biodiversity in West Africa for a long time. They incorporated the Rio Summit of 1992 into the legislation and thus this convention plays an active part in legal practices in relation to their biodiversity. They form an active part of the 2021 that we promote sustainable development. They signed the Convention on Biodiversity and they formulated the Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety, which has an objective that requires agriculture to ensure an adequate level of protection of biodiversity and environment. This is a large area of land under protection. Approximately 7,500 kilometers square of agriculture land is protected, which is 23% and 250 kilometers squared of marine land is protected. The country has an astounding 1252 protected areas as shown on the map. Endemic, keystone and threatened species are important species because in most cases, if they are absent from population, it will crash. The definition of endemic species is species that are restricted to a certain geographical area. Keystone species are species that have a large effect on the, on the population relative to their abundance. Threatened species are species that are at risk of extinction. The increase in population densities has resulted in the increase in the need for effective conservation plans for these species especially. This conservation plan is an ecological or systematic approach using mark sign application, which incorporates current protected areas and the cost of constructing conservation plan close to either agricultural land or urban areas. It also identifies the best solution for conservation plan that will conserve the majority of the species which the plan is constructed for. You may pause the film at this time if you wish. The target species for this conservation plan are various taxa of endemic, keystone and threatened species present in Ivory Coast. Some of them are endemic and others native to Ivory Coast. They occur in an array of habitats and have distinct threats that are declining the population, such as poisoning, habitat loss, fragmentation, and degradation of habitat. These are a few images of the targets and the tables show the rest, where no image is available. The Google Earth Tour 
is just a little visual description of the country of its conservation plan and some distributions of the target species. The location of Ivory Coast is along the equator of the West Africa. This country has a huge biodiversity and they have done lots of efforts to conserve the species that are present here. Some depicted areas are going to appear now. The Kowloon National Park is the largest protected area in Ivory Coast. Next is the Tyne National Park, which contains the large areas of primary forest. It also contains five mammal species that are on the threatened species list. Next is a Sagmi National Park. It is also one of the small, smallest national parks in Ivory Coast. Next is Banco National Park, which is dedicated to vegetation, plants, flowers, and trees. Next is Monteco National Park, which has a significant population of chimpanzee that are one of the world's most common threatened species. Next is Monsang Bay National Park, one of the world's principal national parks. It contains a range of mountains in the Ivory Coast. Next is Ilis Ihotile National Park, which is another small national park that contains some of the country's rare and threatened species. This display is some of the target species distributions in the Ivory Coast. The materials was used to formulate a systematic conservation plan via Mark Sand, downloaded all layers from the DIVA website for Ivory Coast, and created a land use map by overlaying roads, roads, and water onto land cover. The protected areas were downloaded from the Pacific Planet website. Next, the repeating shaped extension was activated in after we took it out. I asked the planning unit to import into DC32. Next, endemic key species and species distributions were done from IOCN website, imported into DC32, extract and re-register. Download GLC for Ivory Coast and Boolean, cropland and artificial areas. Prepare distance for both and formulate distance DK. Next follows running of Mark Sand, refers to total to come to This map displays the cost to develop in and uh, in and around urban areas. The closer to these areas, the higher the cost. The same goes for the agricultural land. Closer to these areas, the higher the cost. This map shows the elevation of the country land surface, also the water content of these mountains. The colored scale shows the coast has more water than inland. This map is used for the ecological approach. This map shows the protected areas and background as areas that are available to construct protected areas. Current sum solution is similar to best solution because the frequency of areas remain constant. Current best solution depicts the hexagons of current protected areas. These are areas that are not available for conservation practices. You may pause at this time if you wish. This table shows how many of the target species the current protected areas conserved. Four out of 30 targets were met. This map shows areas available to conserve protected areas and its official surfaces. This map limits marks and to not select unavailable areas. New sum solution, lowest to highest scale, is the mark and process in which it formulates the best solution for the new protected areas. New best solution is the resultant conservation areas. These areas are at are least cost to be con converted into conservation or restoration areas for target species. You may pause at this time if you wish. This table shows how many of the target species the new protected areas conserved. 20 out of 50 targets were met. The Ivory Coast is well known for its level of biodiversity, and in contrast, they are also well known for their agriculture and high population density. These two factors play important roles in economic growth of the country in total opposite ways. Agriculture, food security and commercial uses, high level of biodiversity, tourism and nature-based tourism that could contribute to the economy of the country in a large way. The dependence of both of these are important, at the same time they are unstable because any catastrophe can occur that can negatively affect these factors that the country depend on. Thus, both 
should be balanced to ensure that the current economy is, in, is secured for future. Although due to the loss of population development of urban areas and industrial areas is bound to happen and is a vital part of civilization and employment. However, it should be limited to ensure that nature is not negatively affected either. Nature should be considered just as important and the relationship with the development that is taking place in the country on a daily basis should be balanced. MarkSan is a program that assists in this process to ensure that urban areas and agricultural areas are not impacted and doesn't impact conservation planning, creating a balance. The systematic approach incorporates the kind of protected areas, urban areas and agricultural land in the country. The ecological approach was not successful in formulating the conservation plan, thus only the systematic approach was used. The application identifies areas as unavailable and high in cost to erect a conservation plan and formulates potential new areas for conservation that were lower in cost and is the best fit to conserve as many of the target species as possible. The conservation plan is formulated for various target species such as keystone, endemic and threatened species that require conservation apart from the ones that already conserved. This was the basis for this target species chosen in this conservation plan. All the species in the conservation plan is either an endemic, keystone, or threatened species. The region closer to the ocean is ideal for the West African manatee. Also, the best solution map depicts the areas close to the equator and which are high in vegetation is also available, which is ideal for the arboreal species and herbivores. The new potential areas are ideal for target species selected because it conserves most of the species, a total of 67%, compared to the kind of protected areas which conserves only 30% of the target species. This could be as a result of all inputs that were used to formulate the best fit conservation plan, and again, it was reassessed to ensure that the new protected areas are the best possible solutions in terms of cost, size, and availability. The kind of protected areas protected 8% of amphibians and 33% of reptiles. The new protected areas, however, protect 64% of mammals, 33% of birds, 88% of amphibians, and 33% of reptiles. The new protected areas evidently protected the most of the species, and thus it is apparent that the mark stand has created, created an ideal conservation plan which will balance the protection of biodiversity and support the economy of the country. Given the potential protected area location is along the exterior of the current protected areas, a negotiation could be underwent to expand the area of current protected areas to include the new protected areas. Corridors are another option in the new protected areas that can be made and used as corridor between protected areas. However, there are species that were unable to be conserved in the new protected areas, best solution map. An analysis can be made to determine whether they do, do occur in other a protected areas. This new conservation plan forms part of many other protected areas and will form part of the tourism and assist in boosting the economy of the country and maintain the status of the country's economy relative to the West African country. The systematic approach of the Markstein application is a useful tool that produces viable protected areas. The future of the food and flora of the world and of agriculture is dependent on affected areas due to the constant incline of population in the present day world. Markstein assists in balancing the protection of biodiversity, development and the economy of the country which the conservation plan is formulated for. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. Hope you enjoyed it.